Hi guys, welcome sa Sip Naya. No, in this video ay uh, itutuloy natin yung series natin on uh, scientific notation. No? Sa previous video, kung pinanood ninyo, ang pinag-aralan natin was about multiplying uh, numbers by positive powers of 10. No? So dito sa video na to, ang alamin naman natin or ang i-explore naman natin is papano naman kung ang number ay may multiply by negative powers of 10. No? So, ano ba nangyayari pag nag-multiply tayo ng negative power of 10? For example, ano ibig sabihin ng 10 to the negative 1? Ang ibig sabihin ng 10 to the negative 1 is diba, 1 over 10 to the first power. Diba? Pag negative yung exponent, no, ang ginagawa natin is we get the reciprocal para maging positive yung exponent. No? So, ibig sabihin yung 10 to the negative 2 magiging 1 over 10 squared. No? 1 over 10 squared. At itong 10 to the negative 3, uh, 10... 1 over 10 cubed, no? and so on. 1 over 10 to the 4th. No? Which means that this is 1 over 10, this is 1 over 100, and this is 1 over 1,000. No? Ito. So, pag nag-multiply tayo ng number ng 1 over 10, for example, 1.85 times 1 over 10, 1.85 times 1 over 10, no? It's the same as dividing, di ba? 1.85 times 1, no? Usually, nilagyan natin ang ng uh, 1 yan dito para ma-multiply natin yung numerator at denominator. This is just multiplying fraction. No? Um, multiplying by a fraction, we multiply the numerator and the denominator. Parang, parang kinoconsider natin ito na fraction by, by uh, placing uh, over 1 here. No? So, so, ibig sabihin 1.85 times 1 is 185. 1.85, sorry. And then over 10. No? Meaning, pag nag-multiply tayo ng 1.85 times 10 to the negative 1, ibig sabihin pala, nag-divide tayo ng 1.85 by 10. So, ito magiging 1.85 divided by 100, 1.85 divided by 1,000, saka 1.85 divided by 10,000. No? So, this is the same as 1.85, 1.85, 10. Uh, yung pangalawa is 1.85. Ito na lang, no? Para kasha. Over 100. Ito naman ay 1.85 over 1,000. And ito naman ay 1.85 over 10,000. No? So, tignan natin kung ano nangyari sa decimal points. Hindi na nat natin imamanual yan, no? Uh, Magtitipid tayo ng time. So, gagawin natin is 1.85 divided by 10. So, anong nangyari? Naging, naging 0 0.185. Tapos ito, naging uh, 1.85 divided by 100. 0 0.0185. No? So, naging... Uh, 0.0185. So, yung usually, uh, by convention, nilalagyan natin ng 0 dito sa left ng decimal point. No? And, yung susunod is 1.85 divided by 1,000. 1.85 divided by 1,000. So, naging 0. Point, dalawang 0, no? 1.85. Dalawang zeros, sorry. And then, yung 10,000, I think, mahuhulaan nyo na na itlong zeros dapat siya. 185. So, notice ko ano nangyayari pag nag-multiply nag tayo ng negative 1, di ba? Uh, sorry, nag-multiply tayo ng 10 to the negative 1. No? So, ano ang original na number natin? 1.85 naging 0.185. So, ano nangyari doon sa exponent natin? So, then dito siya nanggaling, 1.85, tapos pumunta siya dito. So, it moved one uh, place to the left, or one uh, one movement to the left, no? Tapos from here, 10 to the negative 2, 1.85, isa, dalawa. So, two places to the left. Number 3, 10 to the negative 3, so 1, 2, 3. And then 10 to ne negative 4, 
From 1.85, naging 1, 2, 3, 4. So, question. May nakikita ba kayong pattern kung anong nangyayari pag nag-multiply tayo ng uh, numbers by negative powers of 10? No? So, I think pwede nating sabihin na if uh, if we multiply a number by a negative power of 10, no? or uh, to multiply, or multiplying, multiplying a number by a negative power of 10. So, ito yung mga yan, 10 to the negative 1, 10 to the negative 2, 10 to the negative 3, and so on. It's the same as, it's the same as moving, di ba? It's the same as moving, no? moving the decimal point. Saan? To the right, to the left. To the left. Okay? So, yung pag positive powers of 10, kung pinanood nyo yung previous video, it's a movement of decimal point to the right. Ito naman, if a negative power of 10 to the left now. So, the number of places, the number of places Ito yung movement, number of movement actually ito. Number of movement, places means place value, di ba? The number of places is equal, is equal to the absolute value, value of the exponent of 10. Ano yung sabi na absolute value? Kasi ang, kung, kung mapapansin nyo, pag 1 yung dito, meron tayong 1 movement to the left. Pag 2 yung dito, uh, actually, may negative siya pareho, di ba? Negative 1, so 1 movement to the left. Negative 2, 2 movements to the left. Uh, negative 3, yung power, uh, negative, uh, or 3 movements, 3 places to the left, and so on. So, yung, yung move, number of movements or number of places, actually, the same siya yung number na walang negative. Di ba? Yung absolute value, tinatanggal niya yung negative. So, it means that uh, kung ano may number dito, disregarding the negative, ibig sabihin yung positive siya, yun ang number of places or number of movements doon sa, may isa yata ito, papunta sa left, no? Okay, so, yun. Uh, pag positive power of 10 to the right, no? pag negative power of 10 to the left, pag tayo nag-multiply, no? Okay, so, I think handa-handa na kayo sa susunod na lesson natin, uh, which is uh, writing numbers in uh, scientific notation. No? So, so kung invite sa sip9.com yung ating website at sa ating YouTube channel, subscribe kayo, no? And of course, sa ating Facebook page, facebook.com slash 9 salamat. I'll see you in the next tutorial.